Go ahead. Okay, welcome back everybody. Today we have a different kind of unboxing. And this huge case is Logitech's uh, G27 steering wheel and uh, shifter and uh, clutch pedal system. So it comes shipped like this. Bag, it's just Logitech, Logitech, and it's pretty heavy. This better have some good packaging because uh, there's a lot of expensive stuff in here. Oh, well, how about that? Okay, so it's a box that fits it. It's Logitech's G27. There's real leather, real metal, okay. Uh, let's uh, put it upside down so we can get it unboxed that way. It's the best way to get one of these out. Okay. All right. <clears throat> this is how it looked in the store, if you're going to look at it. So, a lot of uh, bagging, you know, uh, packaging. It is a six speed shifter with a reverse um, it's 90 degree steering and rotation uh, stainless steel construction and force feedback actually there are two motors acting counter um, to each other to give you that sense of force feedback let's take a look at this side here we go compatible with the ps3 uh, and computer uh, should be for xbox too if it's a uh, usb and it is the it is a steering wheel that's compatible with Dirt 3. So, and that's why it was purchased for Dirt 3. It looks very nice. It looks like a real console. This is your directional. Your buttons are all there. Shift paddle shifters here. A real clutch and a gas and brake system here. And that's just just one security seal on top here. It seems not. Very good packaging, uh, not at all. I I really wish that they had packaged it better. Just quite frankly, because it's uh, quite pricey. It's about uh, retailing around uh, two fifty to three hundred dollars, depending on where you get it from, depending on shipping. So it would have been nice if they actually had some kind of uh, uh, you know padding on there. But let's take a look at the steering column first. So I'm gonna put it right here and take a look at what the steering column is. See where the bag is. Here. Okay. So here's the steering column. Um, it's real leather, and it it feels like real leather. It is real leather. It's very cold stainless steel, brushed stainless steel. And it looks very nice, and it's thick steel. Um, these are real screws. Uh, let's see. These are functional buttons here. The shifting. It's a heavy feel. It, it, there's resistance, it's a heavy feel. And this is stainless steel too. So it's not cheaply made, let's put it that way. Um, the console itself here, okay, here we go. We have some screws here. That looks, it feels like it's, okay, I popped it out. By turning clock, uh, counterclockwise, I had popped it out. And see, this is, and now if you see what I'm doing, I'm rotating it counterclockwise that extends the uh, a 90 degree arm, clamp arm on the bottom. Clamp arm here is just plastic. It's, this is how far it extends out, okay? So, you get an idea, this is how far it would extend out. So this would mount on, you know, basically on a piece of, uh, underneath a table or something. But you don't have much extending room. Um, it seems strong, it is, uh, it's just constructed with these buttresses here, so it should hold up some strength, so it won't snap on you too easily. I hope, as you, let's see what this is. The pad itself is somewhat okay. Um, I would have preferred the whole thing to be a uh, metal for the price that you pay for it, honestly. Uh, it's quite a bit of money for this. The USB cord is here. We have a little uh, a little serial port here that will probably connect to the gas pedals. Uh, it seems like there's screw holes here if you were to connect it a different way. Okay, and a another port here and a power port right here. So, and it's heavy. It's fairly heavy. Front end looks pretty nice. Looks like a car. Yeah, it looks like a Mustang actually. That's right. Evo. Oh, it looks more like a Mustang, but... Evo. <laughs> okay, so let's get this out of the way. 
Let's take what else uh, we have in here. In the package, you have your power adapter here. And it seems like there's only one power adapter so far. You have your uh, drivers, I believe, and your manual. And this would be the pedal set. And let's take a look at the pedal set. <clears throat> Very broad base. Okay, so here is the pedal set. It's plastic, fairly hollow construction. Plastic covers here, but very nice feel. So it feels like it's a hydraulic or a spring-loaded system. The This is the gas pedal. The brake pedal has much more resistance. Feels like a real brake. And the clutch is fairly loose. So you should be able to actually adjust uh, these pedals by here's the bottom of the base here you have a retractor here where you have studs here spike studs they're plastic so that if you're playing the carpet it's going to grip on the carpet so that it doesn't slip back when you're stepping on it otherwise that's going to lock back in and I believe that these are going to be adjustable uh, width-wise, left and right. Um, I just have not done it myself yet, but there are ways to, oh yes, there we go. You should be able to adjust the width of the pedal because there are holes here. You can actually move the, the screw left or right to tilt the pedal inward or outward. If you have wide feet, okay. So that is the pedal system. It has, this should be a USB connector. Oh no, it is a serial connector. Right to the serial okay, And then let's get the last, uh, and this is the shifting unit here. Now, it's a lot lighter than the other units and more weakly constructed as it seems <laughs> uh, we have a locking system here since spring loaded locking system turning it counterclockwise unloads the system and it seems like this is going to be but there is as you can see here this it's actually a bolt so it is a it is a full metal bolt but not in the back and you would adjust this as such this is again what it would clamp onto the bottom of the table or what you'd have. This is plastic here. And again over here, the spring load system here. Um, it does connect to the, the base with this uh, serial connector. And then you have here a power light. You have functional buttons, left, right. This is actually very nice here. Brushed aluminum or stainless steel here. This is plastic and the shifting system. So you should be able to, this is leather. And it feels nice. So, it is actually fully functional. There's no numbers here, which would be nicer though. Uh, kind of strange. Uh, they put plastic on top uh, to make, I, I would have thought that they would cut some uh, aluminum or stainless steel for the top. But nice short throws. But overall, uh, it's a very complete system. If you want the whole, you know, kit and caboodle, the whole system here. here going to run about $250 to $300, depending where you get it. But you have the closest thing to a uh, racing car driver for rally, for drifting, or anything like that. So, thanks for uh, watching. Any questions or comments, put them at the bottom of the video.